to take off the uh, hubcaps, you need a three quarter inch and they just lightly spin and then they come off like that. Next thing I do while there's weight on the vehicle is I will loosen off the lug nuts so the tires don't spin. And uh, just simply like that. I mean, depending how often you've had them off, um, they can be really tight. I've had these off already to uh, have a look at the wheel bearings until they came in and and then I'm going to loosen these off just like that. And then I'm on a bit of a slope. Even if you're not, you're going to be putting the car in neutral. So you want to uh, block the wheels. Some uh, penetrating fluid. And... This is a 30 mil. So I am also going to, uh, well, the weights on the vehicle, because I don't have any uh, air tools, I'm going to uh, break this nut loose. To get off the brake calipers, you'll need a T55 Torx bit. You can see like that. And the caliper bolts are there and one directly below. It helps a lot to have uh, the wheel cranked over this way so that you can get uh, the Torx bit on right there and right there. I'm gonna have to put down the camera in order to uh, get some leverage. So I got the calipers off, and that's why it's resting there, or else it would uh, hang from there. So the rotor is going to come off, and now that I've pre-loosened it, I've only got a regular impact wrench from uh, Rigid. So now let's loose it. Impact is just very weak now. I don't know why. Batteries are fine, but if you had it in neutral right now, this would spin, so, but we are going to put it in neutral after, so that we can spin it, but right now, you don't want it in neutral or else you wouldn't be able to do this. Air tools are nice, but I don't, I can't justify them. I rarely work on vehicles, but this is what dads do for their kids. This car has done me very well for six years. I've handed it off to two of my daughters and great gas mileage, easy maintenance, reliable. Um, great vehicle to learn how to use for transportation like I did. So in your uh, package, you'll get another one of these. So now I'm going to be putting the vehicle in neutral because I need to be able to spin this because there are these holes that need to line up with these uh, torque bits right there. 
So uh, you need to spin this to access these three uh, bolts. And by the way, pop off your uh, brake fluid reservoir cap because uh, to get the calipers off and uh, you're gonna be squeezing them and stuff. So see this spins and there is one hole that is larger than the others and that is so that you can uh, spin it and get these around so you have to spin it to get this one down here then spin it to get that one down here and uh, these are usually full of crud and rust so you're gonna want to clean it out with a, I got a dental pick here but anything and uh, definitely give them a little blaster on this whole edge from, uh, from uh, penetrating fluid that make it hopefully a lot easier. This has to separate from there and it's probably going to be tight. So you're going to need to tap it back and forth to free it. And if uh, little brother doesn't work, you uh, may need to, his big brother. Slowly coming loose, so you can see the gap is opening up there. So I'm probably gonna put down the camera and uh, use both my hands. So, and, uh, when in doubt, add a little bit more penetrating fluid. Once you loosen up a little bit, you can get a pry bar in there and just start to prying it back from side to side. Okay, I got it loose. Not all the way off yet, but I'm going to put the old nut on. Try to get the nut back on. You don't want to screw up the threads of your spindle there. So you're going to want to use your old nut and give it a taps. And you can see that this came loose. So now I can peel the rest of that off. So there you have it. This, oh, I was hoping, oh, I gotta take the nut off again. Remember, do not, do not pound on your uh, spindle because it's attached to there. So here's the old hub, here's the new one. Just wanna make sure that they're uh, the same. And uh, they are. You wanna go, you're gonna to wanna to clean all this out really well. You can use uh, layer brushes. Um, I got three different sizes, and I also have my uh, drill with an attachment. So um, we're gonna clean this out, make it nice and clean. Okay, right. as you can see, I've given it a nice clean in there, and. Uh, while you're, you're doing this, you should uh, put a little bit of grease in this nipple here. And then uh, what I'm gonna do next is I'm good. I got some never sees, so I'm gonna coat everything that uh, the hub's gonna touch against with some never sees, and I'm gonna put some grease on there. I think you can use grease for all of it, but uh, um, that's what I'm doing. Okay, so I uh, use my uh, Never sees or anti sees, and uh, just put it around anywhere metal is going to be on metal there. Um, in your package with the hub, you're going to get uh, the nut and this washer. And this is the one that uh, um, I've heard much things about is that uh, my uh, hub system does not have that. And 
I was told by other people that you should put that over there, despite the fact that uh, mine didn't come with that. Oh, sorry, I'm going to do that because I heard it just helps with uh, dust protection. So now I'm going to slide it back on there. Uh, rotated this, started the three uh, bolts, and you're going to want to make sure you tighten those evenly all the way around. And uh, the spindle nut, I will post the torque uh, amount when uh, I go look at it. We're now going to torque these down to uh, 70 foot pounds. We're now going to torque the uh, spindle nut down to 144 pounds. So I, uh, the plan was just to change the uh, wheel bearing. Um, but I decided to also change the uh, brakes while I'm at it. And uh, right now I'm just uh, pushing in the uh, calipers so I can switch out the uh, the pads. And then I also bought rotors. I'll show you uh, how to uh, put those on too. So here are the new rotors. But what I'm gonna do, because uh, I've heard it's recommended whether or not it works, I imagine it should, is I'm gonna add some never sees to the inside here where the metal will contact the hub there. That way in the future, uh, it won't be hard to get off. At least that's the theory. So when the calibers are pressed, I got the uh, brake pads off and I'm going to add some uh, brake lubricant along here and here. So here are the new brake uh, pads. As you can see they're identical. It's hard holding a camera and doing something, but that's pretty much, I just gotta adjust those a little bit, but that's pretty much it. Okay, once you get the uh, brakes back on, you're gonna be tightening up uh, so you got those, uh, that bolt there, and the same one down there. <laughs> 